Hello, my name is Gareth and welcome to my drawing an eye video. Uh, these eyes are drawn uh, at a one to one ratio with the reference picture to the left. I'm trying my best to get an accurate representation of each, four, each of the four eyes. I'm um, not um, an auditory wizard and uh, I'm not used to speaking uh, on, on tape or on camera. However, I thought it would be best just to give it a little explanation. I'm using a HP pencil, a Tombow mono razor and a normal eraser in this video. And as you can see, I am trying my very best. You can see them me measuring there. Um, I'm trying my very best to get an accurate representation of each of the eyes. I am using uh, my pencil only for measurement and it is crude, it is not precise. And I'm using light strokes to slowly build up the outline of the eye. I am bearing in mind that when you're looking face on at an eye, the iris is round. It's not always perfectly round or it doesn't appear to be perfectly round when you look at the reference picture. But generally speaking, you want to be drawing a circle. And that goes the same with the pupil. I'm sort of putting the eye into a box. And the box is, um, is constructed from uh, the reference picture. If you look at the left eye, or the first eye on the reference picture, you'll see that I've tried to line up um, horizontally the, the eye with my drawing eye. And this helps me to see um, distances and, uh, between the, each individual shape, um, like the, the eye bags, etc. And um, my drawing motion is more of a feathering motion. And again, it's uh, nothing definite. It is just in, I'm just putting these in place and it helps me see how close I am to the, uh, the reference picture eye. And um, really, I think it's quite self-explanatory if you're prepared to watch this video. And so I hope it helps uh, anyone who uh, either struggles with drawing or struggles with drawing eyes and uh, in my honest opinion, I don't think you can beat freehand drawing. And it's something that maybe not everyone can do, but I do think that people can learn to do it. And secondly, I think uh, there's nothing more satisfying than getting a pretty good likeness at the end of the day, <clears throat> knowing that you've done it and you haven't used anything other than the pencil um, that you're drawing with, really. I am not in no way criticising any other methods, but um, this is the method that I, I mainly prefer. I do occasionally use a ruler when I'm drawing one-to-one -one reference. I'll use it uh, as a horizontal uh, rule, so I know that my drawings aren't going to be too, too high or too low, that the chins and chin, the nostrils, etc. are all, in, all, all at the same level. Um, but I do rely on drawing freehand. Uh, I love it, basically. So. Um, yeah, and the great thing about drawing, uh, but keeping the uh, outline really light, is the uh, simple fact is that you can continue tweaking forever. Um, assuming that your paper's okay, of course. Uh, if it's um, cheap paper, then you're going to overwork it pretty soon. Uh, it won't take long. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a victim of doing that myself. I use uh, cheap paper for sketches and even some half-decent drawings, to be honest. It's mainly because, as far as I'm concerned, every drawing is a practice drawing for me. I am a chef uh, full-time, 
and therefore um, it's something that I do for fun and um, obviously I want to get better and better and better and so I'll practice whenever I get the opportunity and um, by no means do I profess to be uh, absolutely fantastic although I think given time and given enough practice I can achieve pretty much all the goals I want to achieve and um, as I say, uh, I hope to be able to spend more time doing some realistic pieces, but um, that's a large commitment. So that's why recently I've been uh, concentrating more on freehand sketching. And um, and as I say, it just, it just brings joy, really. It's something that's fun. It's easy to do. It doesn't, um, doesn't cost an awful lot, really. Uh, although saying that, if you start using a lot of charcoal pencils, that does cost a bit. Not that cheap. Um, but a basic HB pencil, some, I mean in this case I'm actually using photocopy paper. I'm actually using photocopy paper. So um, yeah, it's a fairly cheap hobby in a sense if you just want to get into basic sketching. But uh, as I say, I think this video is self-explanatory. I don't really think there's much point in me going on really. You can see, see how I'm uh, constructing the outline. When I have, or when I am fairly happy with the shape, then I'll uh, go in a little bit, little bit darker, and I'll press a little bit harder with a pencil. And uh, you can usually tell when I'm getting more into uh, accurate, accurate strokes, as uh, my the way I hold the pencil will get closer to the tip, and this allows for for greater accuracy. Um, I'm drawing with a HB pencil here. Probably wouldn't actually do an outline in a HB pencil if it were for the fact that it won't show up on video. Um, is there anything else I can really add to this? Um, not particularly. No, I'm going to do a bit of a zoom in on the uh, second eye, as you'll see. And um, as I say, the great thing is once you've got the eye outline in place and you're more or less happy with it, you can then start tweaking. You can spend ages on it if you really want. And I do believe that given enough time, you will get it really, really, really accurate. Um, but it's all about seeing shapes really that's really the secret you just got to see the shape not get bogged down with detail and sometimes you even have to ignore certain things uh, to get to get past and to find the shape um, something that I'm guilty of is um, is getting bogged down with detail I just can't seem to help myself sometimes um, I really just got to learn just to let go um, yeah it's um, it's a fairly straightforward process and I think that as I say, I think it's something that everyone can do to uh, greater or lesser degrees, but I think that it helps really to concentrate on the shapes. So perhaps before you actually jump into drawing eyes, nose, ears, even full faces, it's probably best if you um, just get used to drawing shapes and um, you know actually being able to produce bold lines on those shapes as well, and uh, not be frightened and um, and, and to and to, as I say, into like there, as you can see now, I'm feathering the, the the eyebrow, and it's not. I can look at it now. I can see it's not right. Um, usually, again, using me, me pencil for measurements, but you can see it's not not absolutely bang on right. Uh, but the thing is, it's about getting shape in place that you can then start t t tweaking. It's almost like um, a sculptor um, chipping away and chipping away until all of a sudden, hey presto, you've got. You know you've got the shape and it's pretty accurate and uh, and that's really all it's about but um, it, the amount of people that struggle really drawing um, I see that the internet is full of how to draw videos and there's all sorts of different methods and different ways of approaching these things but um, I'm not really too too bothered about how the anatomy of a human human skull works or the anatomy of a human face at the end of the day is I try to draw what I see and um, as I say just by using simple simple measurements using your finger or your pencil you know you're going to get close to that ballpark of where that, that, that position of that, that object on the face is or, or the actual eye or the nose and you know you can work from one, one um, position point to another really and you're going to I think you can construct a face without having to understand the anatomy of a face <clears throat> or the skull. I mean, to say, if this video were to, in any shape or form, prove prove even remotely popular, 
then I would be prepared to maybe, I don't know, maybe elaborate slightly and show how to draw a full face or things like that, you know. It, but uh, I dare say that there'd be nobody watching this video and um, and <laughs> I'm probably wasting my time. But uh, again, one of the reasons why I make videos is not necessarily for other people to watch. It's for me to watch, in a sense. I can see, particularly on my uh, proper drawing videos, um, where I'm going wrong. It's great. I can, I can look at the screen and go, no, why did you do that? And I can say to myself, no, that's in the wrong place. It's, you know, it's great in a way. I mean, it helps you to be really critical of yourself, which um, I, I, it's not that I'm not open to criticism of other people, but uh, I think I am actually my own best critic. And I think um, my own, um, my own, uh, what would the word be? Uh, my own standards, um, if they're not being met, then I'm really hard on myself. So, um, so yeah, um, I'm just probably waffling now. As I say, it's all quite self-explanatory, and um, it's uh, and these eyes are absolutely fantastically accurate, even at the end. But they're not far off, I don't think. Uh, the point is, though, that if I want to, I can carry on and carry on and carry on. As long as I don't overwork the paper, don't rub out too hard, um, don't use too dark, dark a pencil. I mean, I'm not saying this is just HB. I would have used a, a 2H probably, or even a 4H, although they can be scratchy. So say a 2H um, for doing outlines. But um, if I did that, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing, really. Um, so uh, I do hope... Um, this is of some help, of some use to somebody. If it helps one person have a go at drawing an eye, um, using, say, the method I'm using here, um, then that's great. You don't need, you don't need to, you know. I mean, it doesn't have to be brilliant to begin with. You just got to have uh, a bit of faith in your own ability, or um, or confidence that that by practice and more practice, you're going to eventually get there. As you can see in this little part here, I'm shading the eye. Uh, the eye bags uh, and again it's um, there's no it's, it's very I suppose you'd say it was hatching it's very 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 close together hatching I'm uh, using no blending whatsoever uh, on this as it's just a sketch and um, <clears throat> I think I pretty much covered it really the main the main uh, rule of thumb is when you're drawing is uh, to try and draw what you see not what you think you see because um, quite often, uh, like I say, the, the iris is round uh, when you're looking at an eye face on, but uh, unfortunately sometimes they don't actually look round. They can look off and it can really, really throw you. You, you really can get obsessed with the fact that, hey, that's not right. Um, but I'd say that a rough ball, a, a rough, well, no, basically a general rule of thumb is draw the iris round when you're looking at square on, <coughs> face on and uh, at least it'll look right even if it doesn't look right if that, that makes sense the the point is it should be around and the same with the pupil uh, obviously when eyes are at a slightly different angle um, then you know it does obviously change it becomes slightly more of, um, of a semicircle um, but um, not a semicircle uh, an eclipse if you don't understand what I mean but uh, as I say it's all about drawing what what you see and not what you think you see. And I think the more you draw, the more you can work past um, sometimes deceptive uh, drawings. Uh, and another rule of thumb I would say is try and choose a reference photograph that's well lit. I obviously do draw from uh, some that are in that are in heavy shadows or very dark scenes. But at the end of the day, is the, the more brightly lit your reference photograph the more chance of success you've got. And again, also detail. If you want to include detail in your drawings and you get your reference photograph is going to have to be detailed as well. Uh, there's absolutely no point in drawing from a really tiny reference photograph because you just can't, can't gain the detail. You can make it up, of course, but you just can't really see the detail. You can't see what's going on. And um, it's effectively tying one hand behind your back. So, um, so that's it. So again, uh, my name's Gary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, um, I'm from Yorkshire in England, so therefore my accent may be a bit confusing to some of you. I don't think it's that confusing, but it could be. <laughs> and um, 
enjoy the video and uh, as I say if this actually gets more than about three likes then I might actually uh, think about doing uh, some more. I'm in no way uh, a, a highly qualified artist, I'm not a professional artist, I draw for fun, I think I am of a, of a very high standard if I want to be. Um, I think I could get incredibly good if I, I'm, I'll be honest, I think I could get incredibly good given the time and space. As I say, unfortunately, I'm a full-time chef and uh, I also have a life as well, so I can't spend my entire time drawing. Otherwise, um, well, I do love to draw, but there are other things to do as well. And um, as I say, but uh, you don't have to take my word for it. There are lots of different methods, but if you want to draw freehand, then the method that I'm showing you here is, um, I think, pretty fail-safe, really. And, um, say, um, give it a go. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching, and bye.